folks, let's talk hitches. Welcome back to our scamp life the channel where we talk everything scamp campers in today's video We're starting a new series called let's talk We've had a lot of our viewers who have been asking specific questions about scamp campers or they just want to know more specific things Specifically about scamp campers. I'm saying specific a lot today. We're gonna to talk specifically about towing and your hitch now this video is gonna be a little bit longer than the other ones. I'm hoping all of these Let's Talk videos are five minutes or less. This one might be a little bit longer because of this description that I'm giving right now, which is currently making this video even longer. As always, we are not sponsored by any of these companies, but they're just products that we use that work on our Scam Camper. So let's talk about the Kurt Anti-Sway Bar. That's this little guy right here. What this thing does is it connects up to that tiny little ball which i had to have welded onto our hitch it keeps everything moving smoothly together as one unit so this system is is actually pretty neat it's really simple it's just a friction style sway control that uses this telescoping 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 bar here and then there's two friction pads on the inside that when you spin this here it tightens them down basically the friction pads are just two brake pads that are coming together and they kind of help fight trailer sway. Adjustable tension kind of lets you set the right amount of resistance for your setup, so depending on what you're pulling on there. And that friction style sway control, like I said, effectively fights trailer sway after it begins. Kind of reduces that side to side movement caused by wind or passing traffic, curving roads or sudden maneuvers. And the ball that is mounted onto our actual hitch is just an inch and a quarter hitch ball there's a shot of everything unhooked this is that inch and a quarter ball where your kurt sway bar connects up to so this whole strip here we actually had to have welded onto this hitch so our riser hitch here that we bought from the store we just had a neighbor who's really great at welding weld that on there for us and it worked out really good this is the two inch ball that you're going to hook up your camp or two when you go to remove it from your ball it's pretty easy you just pull this pin here right out and clip it back in once you got it around the ball and it'll stay in place now the th the advantage to having this particularly when we towed with our van was when a semi truck would be coming in the opposite direction heading 60 miles an hour or more coming at you and they pass you you know you can feel your vehicle do that whole Ooh thing when you're pulling something like a camper or a trailer behind you sometimes that trailer sits there and shakes for a while afterwards but with this Kurt anti sway bar or sway control as they call it I guess what it does is it helps so that as long as your truck shakes the trailer shakes if your truck or vehicle tow vehicle doesn't shake the camper doesn't shake either like my camera work that's what that little unit is there then your ball on a scamp camper what I've learned from the scamp website anyways is that 2005 and older 13 foot scamp campers had a 1 and 7 eighths ball 2005 and newer and all of the 16 foot scamp campers have a 2 inch ball all right so let's talk ride height because this is something that's very important when you're towing really any trailer but specifically a trailer that has any weight to it your ride height is where your ball hooks up here down to the ground so this distance here is basically your ride height and what that determines is if you have your your camper sitting nice and level it's going to tow nice and sweet going down the road if you've got it tilted too far this way it's going to get sway in the rear end because a lot of the weight is in the rear end and it's going to sway like this going down the road if you're too far this way it's going to weigh your tow vehicle down getting that closer to the ground and it also has some implications that way when you're towing now towing down from what i hear is not quite 
as bad as towing back this way. You definitely don't want to tow back this way. And we've seen a lot of campers on the road that are towing this way. And whether they have a little bit of sway or some of them have a lot of sway when they're going 70, 75 miles an hour down the freeway. So those are some things that you want to be careful of. Now the ride height, at, at least according to the SCAMP website, says that your 16 foot trailers should be towed at about 21 inches off the ground. 13 foot trailers should be about 18. I think we're coming in right about 18 inches, maybe even a little bit shy of that. Now we're coming in, yep, right at about 18 inches. So we're a little bit even tilted, just a little bit forward from where we should be, but I'm glad that we're not tilted back this way. Now how you'll adjust that is with your riser hitch. Now this crazy contraption here is what we used when we were towing with our minivan. This is about an eight inch rise, which is what we needed. Because keep in mind that when your trailer is sitting level on the jack, the jack is down on the ground or on your boards or your pads, that's not gonna be your ride height. It's after it's hooked up to your tow vehicle, after the weight has already pushed those shocks down a little bit. So with the minivan, it dropped it quite a bit from where it was. And so we needed this little, or this very large contraption to give us an eight inch rise to make sure that our camper was towing as level as possible. We just have, I believe ours is a two inch rise. If we would have found a two and a half or a three inch rise, it probably would have brought us up right to where we needed to be. But even though we're off by a little bit on our height, you can see it's relatively level. The SCAMP website has some really good frequently asked questions. In fact, they have an entire page, an entire tab under their frequently asked questions. They have a specific towing section. So it has all the information that you're gonna need there. So whether you are buying a Scamp new, they're probably gonna tell you about all this stuff. If you're buying like us, a late model one that came with a manual and we read all this stuff our first weekend of, of owning the Scamp, or if you bought a late model one that didn't come with a manual, you can go right to their website and they've got all this information on there. On a 16 foot Scamp camper, you're looking at about 180 to 200 pounds of weight that is on the tongue itself when you've got your propane tanks and your battery and things like that up front. So keep some of that in mind when you're looking at whether or not your tow vehicle is going to work towing a scamp. Now we did it with a minivan and we towed it for a season and a half and it worked during that time. The only annoyances we had, you can go back, I'll put, I'll put the video uh, at the end of this video. I'll put a little link to it so you can uh, click on it if you wanna see why we switched vehicles. But basically the biggest reason was that, again, that tongue weight pushed the rear of the van so close to the ground that it was a nuisance in uh, some of our driving around. But maybe if you have a newer van, you're looking at getting a newer van, maybe you are gonna have heavier duty shocks or you could always put heavier duty shocks on it. You should also make sure that you have a two inch receiver hitch. That's this little bar right back in here that connects up to your towing system. It's kind of shaded right now, so it's not picking up too much. But just if you're going to the store to have one installed on your vehicle, make sure that you ask for a two inch receiver hitch. And it's this section here that I'm talking about is the two inch receiver hitch. So this is either welded or bolted to the frame of whatever your tow vehicle is. And you can slide your hitch back into place, the bolt back in the hole, obviously, and you've got your setup ready to tow. So hopefully you found this Let's Talk video pretty helpful. We're gonna be hopefully putting on a lot more on these. I wanna talk specific things about the Scamp Camper. Things that might be different, might be the same with other campers, but I know that they're unique for us. It was our first camper, first time finding out these things. So we wanna talk specifically Scamp Camper. If you like what you're seeing, hit that subscribe button below. It just lets us know that what we're doing is working. So until next time, God bless.